Hey YouTubers, Vince Romano 26 here, and I'm coming to you today with a Goodwill and Thrift Store haul. Found about five items today to show you guys in this haul video. If you saw my Periscope, I uh, featured the non-vintage items. So now I'm going to get to the vintage items. Spent a total of $11.40 today. Tomorrow I'm going to be heading to the Salvation Army, and I will most definitely be scoping that, so you guys can follow me around, see if you see anything that might be worth picking up. Where'd the other one go? Ah, here we go. So, the very first thing that I got, and it was the last thing that I actually was given, they gave them to me for free. They, I don't know what they are. They look like bullets, and that's what the manager said. They were bullets with nails that were drilled into them, or something like that. I got, for, not good for my computer, but I got three of them, and I'm going to probably have to look these up. I don't know if they're really worth anything. If they're not, they're going to go to the auction. But again, I just was given them. So I was like, okay, I'll take them. All right, those were from the um, charity shop near my um, college campus. But um, I just wanted to show you those because they were free. So let's get to the Goodwill uh, items. Most of that stuff that I bought at Goodwill you saw in that Periscope haul. Um, mostly stuff for Amazon. So because this channel is dedicated to items dating to pre-1990, I'm only going to be showing that stuff dating to pre-1990. So I guess the first thing that I'll show you is this um, 60s, 70s, let me get up close so you guys can see it, this um, Pyrex dish. I paid $1.99 and 25% off. And the way that you can tell that it's a vintage, I don't know if you guys can get it in the video or not, because it's the one thing I don't like about the using the webcam is you can't see the writing or anything on there. So it says, trademark to Pyrex, registered, made in U.S., ovenware. If you see microwave wear on the bottom of these, they're generally from the 70s, late, late 70s, early 80s, or even late 80s. So definitely be on the lookout for ovenware, because ovenware helps you date the uh, piece to the time period. So this is from the early, late 60s, early 70s. This is not going on eBay, this is going to my aunt because she loves this yellow color and she really likes um, kitschy 70s dishes. So I thought she would really like that and for $1.99 and 25% off, I was not going to pass that up. Alright, this is something, I, I think it's an ornament. I'm not 100% sure, but I thought it was really, really cool and unique looking. It's, it's kind of funky too and kitschy, that's why I got it. It's this um, really psychedelic looking guitar ornament. You see right here, it's made in Japan. And so I'm guessing that's 60s, early 70s maybe. I picked it up for 99 cents and 25% off. So I got it for 75 cents if you round it up to a dollar. But that was just way too kitschy and funky to not get. So I was really happy about that. There is one little perk to my goodwill that I'm not too crazy about. Um, with regards to items that are not purchased, I'm sorry, not purchased, items that do not have price tags on them, if they do not have a price tag on them, they cannot sell it. So I found like this um, really um, cool looking metal wine cork that said, why do you have to limit um, happy time to one hour or something like that? And I really wanted to get it for my um, friend who was with me, and unfortunately they couldn't sell it to me. And they also had like this um, net... A USB thing that I scanned and I was hoping maybe I could get it for five dollars or something and it scanned in for like 30 40 bucks So I was like yeah score, but then they they couldn't sell it to me. So I was a little bummed about that Okay, now that we are done with the Goodwill haul While this isn't vintage. I thought maybe I would just show it anyway This is the uh, flashback edition of the 1984 movie 16 candles starring Molly Ringwald Anthony Michael Hall, and I think this guy's name is Michael Schofling. This came out again in 1984. I actually have it. The only reason I bought it was to resell it. I paid $2 for it. So yeah, that was a really good deal on my part. Brand new factory sealed. I know someone on eBay is going to want this, especially if they grew up in the 80s or if they had this movie on VHS at the time. So if you uh, have seen this film, you guys know how great it is. I really, really love it. And this I put in my Periscope because I wasn't 100% sure if it was vintage or not. It's not marked or anything anywhere. And usually stuff from that time period is marked. 
But I couldn't pass it up because it really had that 50s look to it. At first I thought it was Native American pottery, but it just does not... When I got a closer look at it, it definitely was not Native American. But it has a really, really neat aqua greenish blue color and this brown, which kind of helps date it to maybe the Eames era, if it is mid-century. So I couldn't pick, pass this up for $3. I had to have it. If it's not mid-century, it's going right in the auction box and duds so that way it can get the heck out of here. Next item to show you is something I thought was really, really cool, and I might put it on Etsy or I might put it on eBay. I'm not 100% sure. I'll let you guys be the judge. Is this really, really neat looking um, mirror. I, I saw this and I was like, wow, this is really, really cool. It's It's got a really neat looking chic design to it. There is a bit of a flaw, if you guys can see where my finger is, there's like a little bubble in the glass, but it doesn't really affect the whole mirror itself. Pick this up for $5. And here's what the back looks like, sorry. I think some girl who likes royalty or is just, it looks very royal to me, like something that was made in that time period. I can't speak, sorry. But for $5, I couldn't pass it up for this, for that price. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to wipe the glass off and then hopefully clean it up. Hopefully my mom won't like it too much so that way I could sell it. And you guys can see my closet, which is a wreck. <laughs> so I thought that was a really, really good price. This last item that I want to show you is something I think that someone actually made, but it's really, really cool. Actually, there's nothing else in here before I show it to you. Nope, that's just my receipt. Okay, so I found this really, really neat looking box. And it's got a bunch of like Vogue magazine covers and everything on it. I can see that I think someone probably did make this maybe back in the 60s. I think they took um, magazine pages from the Vogue magazine. And they probably stuck them on here and then they laminated it. It's really, really neat looking. I love the style of all the women that are dressed in 60s apparel. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I just thought it was something so neat, so unique. I've never seen it. And it only cost me... I can get it in there for you. One whole dollar. One dollar for this box. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I absolutely love it. While it may not be 50s, I still enjoy it because it's definitely not from this time period. I might put... I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I think it's really, really neat. So yeah, that is my quick little thrift haul for you all. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give me a thumbs up. And before I leave today, I want to give a shout out to... Where is that sheet of paper where I wrote her name down? I want all of you who are into mid-century, 50s, kitschiness to check out Lakeside Treasures with JoJo. I'll link her down below in my description box. Check her out. She's brand new to YouTube. She did that as a New Year's resolution. She is completely mid-century modern. My style. Everything. She found some amazing things when she went out um, thrifting the other day. So definitely give her channel a look because she's got some really, really great looking pieces. And also, if you're not following her already, go out, go ahead and check out Garland Girl 21. Uh, she does a lot of um, collection videos from some of her favorite celebrities like Marilyn Monroe and Judy Garland. I'll link her in the description as well so you can check her out. She just made 100 subscribers. I'd like to see her at 200. And for Lakeside Treasures with JoJo, she has six subscribers. I just found her last night, and I'm super excited that I did. So be sure and head over to her channel as well. Give her some love. If you love mid-century modern or you just like seeing things from the 50s that people find when they're out picking, check her out. Give her some love as well. I want to get her to 100 too. So thank you all for watching.